my name's Meg and I work here at Gippsland Art Gallery. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple printmaking process using a reduction print um, process using some styrofoam plates. You'll also need some thick 200 GSM paper. I've got a pencil for sketching, a pen, um, some masking tape, of course my block inks, a bamboo baron, a hard rubber roller, some pedal pop sticks, and a tray to roll my ink out on. To start our reduction lino cut, I'm going to start with a really simple sketch. Um, I'm going to use a coloured pencil today just because I'm going over it with black pen later in the process and that will make it easier for me to see where I've gone over lines and that. For a simple project it's not as important but when you get more advanced um, keep that in mind. So I'm going to start by, as I said, sketching a heart. This might work really well for a card design. simple heart and then I'm just going to divide that heart down the center like that and that's how I'm going to start my printmaking process. My sketch is just on an A5 sheet of regular printer paper which is nice and thin and I'm going to get my styrofoam this is very similar to um, what meat trays are made of so you could recycle some meat trays once you, if you don't have any of this styrofoam sheeting at home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my design on top of the styrofoam and attach it with a piece of tape so it doesn't move around. There we go. There we go. I'm going to take a ballpoint pen with a fairly large uh, nib and go over my lines and I'm pushing through the thin paper into my styrofoam. I want to leave a mark there. So I'm doing that now. I don't want to rip through that paper. Just enough to leave an indent that you can see on the other side. So I've transferred my design. Looks like. So I've got a very slight indentation now and I'm going to go over the lines again with the pen straight onto the styrofoam to make those a bit deeper now. Here we go. Now we're ready to um, add some ink to our plate. This is a good time to cover your workstation with some newspaper so it doesn't make a mess. And we're using um, block ink here. And what you'll do is you'll scoop out some of that and put it at the top of your tray. And then use your rubber roller to bring it down. We're gonna leave a reservoir at the top. You don't need all of that spread out. And then you're going to go the other way with your roller, lifting it up as you go so that you're making sure you're coating the entire roller. And you'll get to the stage where you'll hear this wonderful tacky sound. And then you'll know um, it's completely coated. You can see little um, bumps in the ink there. And then we can apply it to our foam. Okay, you'll have to pick up some more ink as you go. You can go the other way as well.
You want a nice even coat all over your foam. And you don't want to push too hard on it either, otherwise you'll leave a dint. That looks pretty good. Show you what that looks like. So you can see a nice even coating of ink on that plate now. Now we're ready for our paper. And you can roughly center your piece of foam. Your paper. Push it down and it should stick and then you'll be able to flip it over and use your Bamboo Baron to press the ink onto the paper in that circular motion all over. So you're pushing that foam and ink onto the paper. Keep going. You can do a little check if you like to see how it's printed. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, peel the paper. Here we go. And there's our first layer. So we've printed our first heart. Make sure that you do multiple prints now and set them aside to dry. The next step would be to wash all the block ink off your styrofoam um, and then pat it dry to make sure it was nice and dry. Now this is when the reduction part of the artwork begins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other side of my pen or a blunt um, object to push down the styrofoam in half of my heart shape. Just doing that in a dotty pattern there. By getting rid of that, when I print the next colour, it's going to make sure that, that that part of the heart remains red. And on the opposite side here, I'm going to, no, what side am I going to do it? I'm going to do it on this side. I'm going to draw some, some lines here. And where I'm drawing the lines, the red ink from the previous print will show through. So we're just using some simple patterns today with your heart. But you could do circles or other heart shapes would work well as well. And to complement those lines, I think I'm going to do some line work going the other way. So this is ready for our next layer of ink now. I've pushed down this area of the heart and some lines here and some lines on the side. So, scoop out some of your black ink. Okay, I've just got a reservoir at the top again. And then I'm gonna pull a small amount down, leaving the reservoir at the top. I need more ink later. Lifting up my roller and going side to side, making sure that I'm coating the entire roller once again. Now I'm ready to apply that to my plate. More ink. These have a handy stand so that you don't get ink on your table. And I can see now I've got a very fine layer of, I guess you can see little dimples of ink spread throughout the plate. 
now I'm going to get my original print and I'm going to line this up with my previous one just by eye. Just lining the corners up as close as I can. Okay, pushing down. I'm going to flip it over again and use my bamboo baron. I'm pushing quite hard as I'm doing my circular motions, making sure that ink's going onto the paper. So a little peek. Well, that looks good. There we go. There's our second layer. Beautiful. And do the same for your other prints that you've set aside. Lay, put your second layer on and then set them aside to dry. Wash off your plate again. And this time we're going to use some scissors to remove uh, this side of the plate. Cuts quite easily this. I don't need the rest of the heart so I could be a bit rough. There. So you can see why you needed to make multiple prints in the early days because we, we destroy the plate as we move on. Um, I'm going to get rid of the texture in the heart here now by pushing that down like we did before. And then we can add some textures to this side now. I'm just going to draw some little circles, it'll be nice. And you can colour them in and flatten that out or you can just leave them as the, the shapes with the lines. I think I might alternate, I might colour some in and leave some lines. So I'm pushing down the foam with the pen in some of those circles. And one more. Beautiful. That's it. Now we are ready to ink this up again. I'm going to mix a pink for this. So I've got my red from before. I'm going to add some white. There's probably enough on my roller to mix that. We'll see. And this time I'm going to keep rolling until I've got a fairly flat pink colour. I think I want it to be a bit lighter than that. I'm just going to add a bit more white. Beautiful. This is an older roller, so I do have some areas that aren't completely covered. Same again. And I got a beautiful peach colour from mixing the red and the white. Now I might cut that extra bit off there because I can see that some of that's going to print, and I don't want that. Yeah. 
beautiful. Now to line this up with my previous print. That's it. Line it up. And the same again, even pressure, circular motions all over. Now we've been working on this wet, so yes, it was a little bit stuck. But there you go. It's your final layered heart print. So once you've completed your simple art print, you're ready to move on to some more complicated um, reduction prints. I've um, began with something quite simple still, but an eye design. I've sketched that out in some grey lead on some really thin printer paper once again. I'm going to attach it to my polystyrene with a bit of tape so it doesn't move while I copy the design over. Everywhere that we're copying the design or pushing through onto the polystyrene will be white in our, um, in our first print. So keep that in mind. Any areas that you need to be white or to show the paper through, that's what you're pushing down first. Okay. Take that on. So for my eye design, the areas that I want to push down first are going to be the white of the eye um, and some of the line work as well. So I'm going to do that now with my ball point pen. Start by sketching the shape out. I'm just going to work with the lines initially and then I'm going to take the paper off and push deeper with the indents that I've already made. I'm going to keep my sketch nearby so I know what areas I'm going to continue to push down. You can see that it's made an indent, but I'm going to make those more strong now. Start with the white of my eye. I want that. That's my little reflection, sorry. This is the white of the eye that I'm going to push down. I could use the end of my pen again, but I want to be a little bit more exact with this print, so I'm taking my time to push down with the pen side. Make sure it's nice and flat. Beautiful in there as well. So there are my three areas that I'm going to keep white. And now for my line work. Okay, I'm ready for my first um, print. I'm just going to put a few hints of white in the iris there too. 
beautiful. Okay, I'm using my tray, ink in, and blue ink this time, putting my reservoir up the top. Dragging just a little bit down, not the whole thing. I'm trying to lift up the roller and make sure that it's coated all the way around. Starting to hear that tacky sound, getting an idea that it's coated nicely. Beautiful. Test print first. Line up where I want my print to be. Flip it over. Remember strong circular motions with your farin, pushing that ink onto the paper. Now I'm going to print again on a card so I have that layer as well. So now I'm going to push down areas that I want to keep the blue from my first print. So areas like the iris, I'm going to push them down with some more line work because I definitely want the blue showing through a lot there. And by doing little lines around here, it's going to look more like a iris as well. The next colour I'm going to be printing is black, so I, I still want some black lines in there, so I'm not going to push it all down like I did before. Okay. And the same, I'm going to push down, oh, maybe just some textures in here. Add some tone. Putting some little lines there. And up here, I'm going to push out even more lines. So in between every line, I'm going to draw a new line. And every second space I'm going to push down. So I think that will look really interesting as a final print. So remember all the areas that we're pushing down will reveal the color before that we've printed so you'll be able to see the blue. So I'm going to ink this up with black ink now, getting my clean tray. There we go, that looks spectacular. 
Now before you remember that I did a card, so I'm going to reprint that. I used another piece of paper to protect it when I did that, so I, I line that up. I can line that up with where I protected before so that I can get this one nice and straight as well. So some more ink. hard to know where you've been when it's covered in ink. If you're printing the next layer you can just look for where it's shiny to know where the ink is. And we need to put some more on. Okay, happy with that. Now as I said I'm going to use that protection sheet to help me line up my print from before. Make sure I get it the right way. Flip it over. I'm just lining up the bottom corners here and then having a quick look that I don't have it crooked at the top as well. There we go. Push it down. I'm going to pick up both sheets of paper and flip it over and three times over with my bamboo baron. Okay. Take my protective sheet off first and I'm going to keep to line up my last layer. lined up well. Now to remove my card. Okay. Beautiful. See that's worked quite well. And it's not perfectly lined up but still very effective. Beautiful. And now for my last colour. I need to wash this off and dry it before I push down any more of the styrofoam. Now I've washed my styrofoam again so that's nice and dry. And my prints are nice and dry to go over the top of. I'm just mixing some light blue by mixing the white and the blue ink together on the tray. Happy with that colour. Pulling just a little bit down. A little bit more. You can hear that beautiful sticky sound that it's making. That's how we know we don't have too much ink, just enough. Okay. I've got my colour mixed. Now I'm just going to push down a few more areas on this. Um, areas that I want to keep the colour, the previous black that I did. Um, the other thing that you can do is that you can cut areas as well. So you can decide to keep, if I wanted to keep the top of my print, with the colours here and I didn't want to add any light blue, I could just cut that section out completely. I, might, I could probably do that to show you what that would look like. Now to line up with my card, I'm going to use that protection sheet again. Line up my card. Beautiful. Let's see, I'm just using the roller as a bit of weight so it doesn't move. And then I can only line it up with the two corners that are left now, so I'm going to do that. Beautiful. Flip it over and oh, 
level. Protective layer off first. really giving it a lot of depth where those um, symbols are as well. Okay. Now for the other one. Put that back down. Pick up some more of the light blue ink. There we go, it's making that really tacky sound now. I'm lining up the right side. That's the one. Beautiful. Pushing it down. Flip it over. And three times over with my bamboo barrier again. Job of lining this one up from last time. Here we go. And I'd write down the bottom here um, the date that I made it, um, name for the artwork, my name, and how many or an addition of the artwork that I made. So if this was the second print of five I'd make, I'd write two under a line under it and then five. Printmaking is one of my favourite processes to follow. I hope you enjoyed making your own print today. If you do make your own print, remember to hashtag Gips Art at Home and share it with us. You can access our videos or art making workshops via our website via the events page if you'd like to make some more art projects.